Welcome back to the moon. This is episode 4 of my brutal starting conditions playthrough on station near difficulty. And uh, well, now we have a deep miner and a centrifuge for 5 minutes effectively. Oh, reminds me, I have to start the timer. So nothing much has transpired yet. And I plan on getting a second one, so I would need to tricks around with the shoots. And also, um, I need to program uh, that these guys automatically output what they have once they are full. And I want to filter out at least the coal to go into a silo. So I would have basically limitless energy. Maybe lame or something, but... Um, I mean, these guys eat a lot of electricity and I want to solve that problem. That seems like the most straightforward answer to that question. Since I currently don't have any resources to speak of, I'm going to take a sip and mine for a bit. Today sucked and I can't even explain why or how. Just an emotional thing, I guess. I mean, nothing bad particularly happened. I could say, hey, this one thing that happened, that sucked so hard. That was just a general feeling of meh. <laughs> but. So I need a silo. Need to build greenhouse, need to have so many things need to be done. But, <coughs> excuse me. But the first thing I need is iron. Iron, iron, iron. Didn't I have a mining belt? I'm confused. Where is my my extra resource belt? Oh, there it is. A mining backpack, of course. This one I'd like to fill with fill in quotation mark ah uh, with iron. We're off to a good start. landscape. Yes, would you please update? Okay. Hey, we can fly again. More coal. I have enough coal, man. I need uh, iron. This is red iron. Red iron is good. At least I got some programming done today. I made a little uh, Excel library for us at the office. Um, so we can easily access Excel files. You just give it the file name and uh, I mean the file object whatever file name and uh, then you can say iterate through the thing and then it will hand you all the sheets you can say per sheet iterate through the rows with some options you can say iterate through the row you can say read the field name you have a vertical and horizontal offset so in some cases in case there are some empty lines at the top or some empty columns on the left we can read that easily of course we had such a thing before but not in the form of a library and so I I made that happen. In the future, when you make any tools, it will be easy to just have a few calls and don't have to once, once again think through the stupid quirks of the Excel uh, format and or the Excel libraries that we're using. I mean, there's, a, there's for example a call that says, give me the, uh, the index of the highest row. And there's a call that says, give me the index of the highest field. Both these methods, uh, both these subroutines, 
have work in a different numeric space, which is completely bonkers. I mean, one of them gives you effectively the amount, and the other gives you effectively indeed the highest index. Dude, one of the two, please. And then this ridiculous date format. They save it as a double, uh, starting at the uh, 19th, uh, 19th uh, well, the 18th, the, well, the beginning of the 20th century, 1900, and uh, but uh, then they forgot the 29th of February um, because it's actually they counted that as a leap year I think when it is actually not a leap year I think that's the way it was and so forth and so on sucky yucky anyway you don't want to think about that right and so that's what I had implemented for a long time already is just uh, that you toss that you give uh, um, an Excel field to this parser and if it realizes oh that's a date field then it will immediately convert that into a text that will have the international date format you know year month day hour minute second and then we can just work with that transparently everything all that we get is text that might seem questionable to you but you don't know the context and so yeah So that is uh, 155. And the thing I'm actually trying to make is a little drag and drop tool for cleaning up Excel files. Um, and when I did, th when I started with that, I realized, dude, this this kind of stuff we need that all the time. Um, I mean, we have data, we have a data converter for customer data with CSV or X XML files come and then convert that into whatever we need but sometimes we get um, Excel and we have to deal with that also and that is implemented did that years ago but um, that um, I mean we need to we need to really we need to really clean up the, the data workflow currently it's kind of all kind of bunched together but what we need is a, mod a module for import a module for con for conversion for transport instead of it being like lumped together which uh, makes some things impossible and to separate that out is pretty hard because you have the workflow you have the programs that you rely on um, well so the best way to do that is of course to work on the high abstraction level anyway I am trying to make a tool that will clean up Excel files because one of the systems that we work with uh, uses Excel files heavily yuck and um, One more iron, please. And um, see, if you edit one of those Excel files, for example, you select some rows and you then right mouse button and you say delete. Yeah, you don't use the delete key or something, but you explicitly say these rows, they shall no longer exist. And then you save that and then you import uh, that file into us into that system that we're working with. And then that system, for, for, for whatever reason, still sees those lines. They are empty, but they are still somehow there. That's completely ridiculous, and then we're saying too many lines, maximum 30,000 or something, and then fuck, you know? And so then a colleague of mine, who is usually the guy who has the tips for me when I don't know what the fuck, why is this system not running? What is wrong again this time? Not that I'm dumb or something, but uh, he is really the, 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 the guy who comes up with the right ideas for the quirk that is occurring. Anyway, uh, then he was running into that kind of problem and I said, dude, uh, what if you just make the Excel file anew and copy that over there so we don't have all that history or whatever happened to that stupid Excel file in that file, but a fresh one, and that worked. And so now um, I'm making a program that will just do that. You drag that in there, it will read all lines that are not empty from all sheets, we'll make a new Excel file where it is then remade. So drag drop problem solved. That's the idea. For that, the library is almost done. Just like one more separate, you know, two hours, whatever. And that's what I've been doing today. And that was fine. I like programming. I have fun with that. I've written so many parsers and so many little things. It's I have fun with that. It's So we have iron, so we can make another batch of steel, 
Um, since I will need a lot more steel, I wonder, um, should I find a lot more iron? Oh, iron. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, at 0 0.3, at 0 0.03 planetary timing, uh, it takes much longer for the sun to... Where the fuck is it, by the way? Oh, there. Uh, to realize that it still can shine a bit because Earth is not at the horizon, is a bit above the horizon. And when will Rocketworks fix that stupid flickering? I mean, the sun is, should be either visible or not visible, uh, but not this... this. There's probably some kind of floating point, rounding-ish, decision-making thingy, shadow cast the obstruction-y thing. Maybe it's even related to some kind of... I mean, okay, I would assume that the calculations regarding Earth are implemented in a way that Earth is indeed circular, as in, you would just use the delta from its center, instead of using with, uh, working with uh, some kind of triangle system where it consists of many little uh, shapes that wouldn't make sense, that would be as efficient, I think. So what is that flickering all about, man? What I would like, of course, is uh, neither. I would like some kind of transition where the sun fades out rather quickly, but doesn't vanish, really, it fades out, and then you see a halo around Earth instead of just blackness. That would make more sense. Is that where it is? That's where it is, isn't it? Yep. 180. So, go make a big batch of steel. Yep. there um, who is also not just supporter and such but also programmer um, for some reason he doesn't like to make libraries I don't know why man that's one of the best things you can do some place where your code resides that you need all the time it saves so much time really and it's so easy to do with IntelliJ Add the module and then you use it. You don't even have to compile that crap. And when you think, oh, this method should be slightly different, then you just change it in the library right there. This will affect all your projects, but I mean, of course you have to be, cons have to be considerate when you do it. But if some projects break, well, so be it, as long as the functionality can be restored by changing some, uh, some of the calls or whatever. Silver, how extraordinary. Silicon, how the same word once more. Let's seek out some less boring, annoying crap. Hey, see me hovering with my mouse. That's boring crap.
No, this is always a problem. Okay, it might sound boring to you, but I like the vibes. Uh, well, I could sort some stuff here, of course. Anything that feels like, or sounds like, or reminds me, or is reminiscent of resurfing uh, to the ocean of eternity, I play that anytime. I love it. Okay, enough for a batch of steel or two. so much crap with me but okay this wasn't a decided mining run with an extra backpack and so forth I just want to get my production going and then I don't know this mining drill is really nicely fast and I forgot again to make mining charges This is gold, isn't it? Huh. Is there any cool move I can make here? Yep, I can. Maybe not. Um, Rocket Works is working on things on beta on the beta channel. Of course, they always do. Um, there are four types of arms now. There's the hydroponics arm, which I believe is just the classic Harvey. I'm not sure if if it is. I haven't really investigated. Then there's a cargo arm, an Atmos arm, which seems to have some kind of active vent actually on its end. And there is, uh, what's the other thing? Cargo Atmos. Damn, it was four. Oh, wait, I wrote that down, kinda. One second, please. So, Cargo Atmos, Collector, and Hydroponics. And uh, at least one of these will be able to change the filters in your, um, in your filtration unit because you can select the index that it shall access. So that's going to be very interesting. Also, I wonder if, if uh, Rocketworks will half ass it, which I would be fine with in this case, or if they will actually go all out and make the proper animations for that thing to reach in the respective place. And um, I don't know if they are usable yet. I mean, I can build them, I can program them a bit, move here, move there and such, but uh, I can't get them to do anything meaningful. So let's go back home. Wherever that may be... There. Whoop. Maybe I should have turned off the uh, deep miner. What a waste of electricity. Yeah, I have some coal. I can top that up. Ah, I feel better already. This station here is, and particularly the recording it on video, which intensifies the cause and effect 
uh, thing for me. Um, Hydration critical. That gives well, it gives my wheel some flow direction instead of being all over the place and then being depressed about just that. <laughs> Do you have depressions? No, no, no. I don't really uh, know about uh, people with depression, so the following things might be super ignorant and stupid and I'd apologize in advance. But my understanding, my interpretation is that what's happening there is that their will uh, is basically also going into all kinds of directions simultaneously, therefore just being a foggy cloud and then feeling disappointed about this. As in, um, they, maybe they can't even, maybe they wouldn't even describe it like that. Maybe they wouldn't, maybe they would say no, even though the answer is yes, but they don't see it clearly enough. Or, really, I'm talking about my ass, that might be so. But, uh, I mean, I mean, there's such a saying like, pull yourself out of the swamp by the hair, right? Um, but for that, you need to make the decision. And I believe the problem for people who are, have depressions is that they cannot make the decision because they cannot get their will to get there. And that, so to me, sounds the will not being focused, not coherent. And that, so to me, sounds like the will being all over the place. Exactly what I described, you know? So, maybe that's really what's going on there. Light, dark, light, dark, light, light, dark, light, dark. Um, I was morsing something to you. Did you, could, could you interpret it? No? Yes? Hmm. Shame on you, then. Hmm. What do I do first? Anything more in here? Uh, nope, completely empty. And no contents. Good then. Oftentimes I ask myself, how do you get rid of items in stationers? And today someone wrote, yeah, put it in the furnace. And I realized, yeah, that has happened to me every once in a while, and then the th items were gone. I guess it doesn't work with ore, but everything else definitely. But what do you do with ore? Someone said, well, take some shoot system and pump it into the floor which then by collision checking should just make it fall through the planet and therefore into realms where the system will say, no, this is out of bounds, goodbye. So that is one way to do it, I think. Though, what if there's a cavern down there, which there often are? You dig down and then at the bottom, we, where even on the moon you have some lava-like bedrock. It's funny. Um, yeah. Hmm. And we're going. So, iron. What's my power doing? Yeah. Okay-ish. Um, there's people there are people who walk on high ledges and make videos about that you know and there are indeed such videos which are not fake but real um, and well it's not necessarily uh, parkour um, runners or something but you know just maybe some adolescents who just want to make a video hey look what I did or whatever because they found the opportunity to climb up to such a high place but I'm talking about people who do that regularly and my interpretation is that the reason that they do that is that um, in that situation they are exposed to death to life to to a life and death situation to uh, to be or not to be and whether they will be or not be is entirely in their hands. It is a decision of mind. I'm not saying they are uh, suicidal, no. I'm saying that if they do it wrong, they will suffer, they will die. And they, of course, don't want to do that. And so they have to focus, they have to concentrate. And so in this moment, their personal will, the will of their mind, is um, touching uh, reality on a very high level, very high frequency level. That's how I uh, phrase this. The higher the frequency, or let's say the hierarchy, the more uh, all-containing it is. And for them, it is of course all-containing because it's to be or not to be. It's not the universe scale, but for them it's their personal universe, their personal life. Um, why would someone do that then? 
well, why do you, why do you take a walk to be exposed a bit to to life, to the real world? For example, I mean, it's not the one reason. Um, Thirty megapascals, temperature under sixty. Mm -hmm. mm, how do we proceed? I will just release some of that. Um, and uh, you know, some. I mean, personally, if I wouldn't have to go to work anymore, and I'm not talking money. There's other reasons for me to have to go to work. So. If there's some some completely crazy guy out there with a billion dollars and things, ah, I have half a billion here. That wouldn't do me any favors, other than uh, other than of course me having some some safety net. Yeah, that would be fine. I I wouldn't object to that. But in principle, I wouldn't change my lifestyle. I would still go to work because I have some things to do, so to speak. And before I haven't done those, I cannot leave my workplace. I cannot uh, stop that. So I'm bound to that like a slave, and that's the way it is. Um, Now I've lost my, th my thread of thoughts once more. How much do I need for Electrum, of which I want to make a little bit more, since I can? 600k. Uh-huh. Is this open? It's not. Gold and silver. Do I have silver? Yes. But see, that's the thing. Um, some people say, yeah, if I had, would have a million, I would still go to work like two days a week or whatever, maybe. You know, the, the saner bunch, not the ones who completely talk crazy and possibly are ones of those who will then uh, completely lose balance and give everybody a thousand bucks because it is so easy. And then they are like, oh, I love you all of a sudden and your sperm is so tasty. Um, that's, I don't know, that's not the way to handle that, right? Mm. And people who are kind of on the similar spectrum would possibly say, I will never go to work again, aha! And I, I get that, I mean, um, why not, actually, why not, why not? But um, people have, uh, that would say, what do you do with all your free time? And I tell you, if I only had free time, I would know what to do with every minute of it. I would never be bored. I have so many million things I want to do. I mean, the most entertaining thing in my own life is my own will, literally, and I have too much of it, so I, I, I will not ever be bored. Um, but um, see, ah, oh. some more maybe. We have gold, and we have. Do we have enough silver? Yep, we do. Um, but when people say, I will still go to work, why do they do that? Because they can still touch this uh, to be or not to be level, so to speak. They can touch the seriousness of life. It's when people say, hey, touch grass, or you have to get out more, stuff like that. That's what they mean without understanding it, of course, because humans are stupid, um, is that uh, what's really going on there is that they are touching the flow of reality on a more um, cause and effect heavy level. So they're tapping more into the flow of life, which is relevant. And when people walk on high ledges and such, not that I want to recommend it, absolutely not, that's not what I'm saying here. Uh, that is such a thing, that is uh, tapping into the flow of reality. Because you might think, well, you're standing on a ledge, big deal, it's the same thing every time. No, every moment is new. There's something people also don't get. Every moment is new. I mean, it looks the same. You can m every little data point that you can possibly measure is the same. It's not the same moment. The flow is always different. So, what do we want to produce? A silo. Can I make that here? Yeah, and one of the reasons I would have to keep going to work is uh, regardless is that I have to tap into that flow into that same flow on a very high frequency level the reason for me though is not so much that like I don't lose balance because I can't I am too deeply anchored in reality uh, so I can't stay at home the whole time I can drift it's it's not a problem I will not lose my identity because um, uh, for reasons anyway um, but I will have to keep going there because 
not of the high frequency flow of cause and effect necessities, but because of coexistence calculation, because of human interaction calculation, what's right, what's wrong, that kind of stuff. Not going to toss out some keywords here because it's not yet the time, but uh, in principle, that's about finding the right answer to what's right and what's wrong. I mean, it's not like I can't, don't know them yet, right? I can extrapolate. But what's asked of me, basically, is not to just extrapolate that, but to believe it without potential doubt. And for that, I have to call whatever I found into question, only to find it anew in the moment that I'm experiencing it. That moment ought to be a mixture of human interactions plus to be or not to be flow, which is office work, or rather, you know, being at work. That works very well, has, me, has served me well for the last 23 years, and um, I will get where I need to go. Success is guaranteed. So that is closed. Can I smell some more, maybe? Yes, I can. Um, gold. Oh, right, should smell this first. Uh, I thought actually that was hot enough. Apparently I thought wrong. I did. Uh, hmm. I guess the degassing is... Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, I need to drink some fast. Which might be tricky, because I don't have anything. Did I really not consider that? Crap. This might be actually... I might be in the process of dying without realizing. Dude, I want to click on the thing. Okay, that should be helping. That should also be helping, and now I need water. I need to fetch water. So I have this already here. Is there something in there that I should know of? Music, you're getting annoying, frequency-wise. Oh, that's fine. Uh-huh. 24 liters in there, why are they not coming out, man? There's no liquid in the pipes, but there's 24 liters in the crusher. And that's a problem I have been seeing uh, often recently, and I don't get it, man. What's happening? I mean, maybe I need a pump to pump that out, but the pump cannot be connected directly to it. The pump needs to be connected to a pipe. For that, the pipe needs to have some stuff. This pipe here that we can see right here, well, it has some gas, but is that the problem? Is there too much gas in there? Hmm, I will now use a cheat to find out. What's in the pipe? Nothing. The pipe is not filling. Oh, maybe I should, like... Okay, never mind. Misa, are stupid. I need some need to mine some water. Prim prim prim. Fifteen liters and six liters. You know, 
Station ES haters could say it's the loser interface. <laughs> to which I say, your mom. First, maybe I should make a tank, because that was the plan all along, right? I have this drain back there. Though the silo is also appealing. And gold? Was it gold? It was gold. Now it's silo. And, well, the tank, that would be here. Tank, aha, uh -huh, okay, that's already selected. Bonk. Okay, where will I place that tank? Need some foundations first. Yeah, that's also a bug, you know, that some clicks are not, um, well, um, so what, consume, yeah, that's what it's called in Java, for example, uh, in the Java swing. I click here, and see, the click was not consumed by the thing that accepted the click, um, but the click was still active, and so the next thing reacted to it too. Well, that's not right, man. The coal burner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, this is currently my little power planty thing. Could make the could place the silo just here, you know. Yep, that's good. But not like th this. Needs to have some breathing room. What do I need? Oh, seriously. So, 15 steel sheets and the welding torch. Hey, wait, I need the welding torch? I, I only have the arc welder. What's going on? Hunger, caution. Welding torch. I will take a screeny here. They can just say welder or something. Maybe there's no abstraction for that. Hmm. Who knows? Plastic sheets in right hand. How many, pray tell? Silicant, silicon. Silicon carne. <laughs> Aha, ten. Why didn't you say that in, uh, in advance? A 
five cable coils. Come on, don't annoy me with the wrong music choices here. Oh, okay. Give you another chance. Never mind. Or would this develop into something? So they implemented this right mouse button click, which teleports things from your hands into your inventory and back, instead of the double click, which many people didn't even know existed. Um, and too bad the right mouse button is not announced anywhere either, but at least you find the keyboard pendant uh, announced. Uh, it's in the settings. Controls. Where is it? Come on. Inventory select, but what I'm talking about is smart stow that's a new thing that's the double click basically it's the double f is now double f is now h huh yeah now my idea would be how about we can what am i doing how, how about we can um assign uh, like how how about i can assign the wrench to this slot and so when i have two three slots here and press right mouse button, that wrench will certainly go here. And nothing else will go there, even if Smart Store or whatever logic might be there might think, eh, this is a good place, then this filter would say, no, this is reserved. And then I could always say, plop, plop, plip, plop, you know, that would that would solve this interface issue. And uh, maybe some people will complain about this idea, but uh, they know, everybody knows, that the user interface is one of the most controversial and possibly most limiting factors of stationers. Though I read uh, someone's comment today, I think his name is uh, on Steam, um, something along the lines of the only limitations are yours or the only things wrong is really about yourself or something. I don't, don't remember, sorry. And the guy was pointing out that uh, Stationers is really lacking something like... A Let's take Vulcan. Vulcan kicks you in the balls right at the beginning and gives you purpose, st makes you strive. But once you have solved the basic things, Vulcan is so too unhospi in inhospitable a, a place for you to want to keep going because now instead of driving you forward, it's holding you back. Because if you would want to do some more things, Vul Vulcan is now saying, yeah, it's hard though, you know? And um, this is logic, right? Okay, let's connect that. And that oxygen not included was basically a masterclass of keeping you uh, keeping the drive on. There's always some further goal that is emerging. Um, maybe so. I, I don't know. I haven't played it much. The point being that Stationer's game flow balancing is incomplete. It's very incomplete. Maybe. Um, Maybe uh, Rocket Works long-term plans actually have that covered, only they are slow, or rather the development is slow. They are not slow, objectively speaking. They are rather fast even. So this needs to be powered and I need to get uh, coal there. That would mean a shit ton of shoots, so let's start making a shit ton of shoots. But first maybe another, what's its face? Centrifuge. Which well, he needs iron, funny enough. Oh, it's not funny at all. I don't have any reserve iron. I've made three batches of steel instead of two. Da da da! Okay, maybe we should uh, ask Mr. Dude over here. Because uh, that might be some answer. 58 iron. That's not nothing. Power down, baby. Error. 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 Execute. Execute.
waste and cautions. But even the most minute of have an instinct and talent for industry, social organization, and savagery that makes man look feeble. Anything left now? Okay, continue what you're doing. Meanwhile, I will see if there's still some heat left. I would not think so. I think this needs 900. Uh, oh, my energy is gone. How much do we have in here? Hmm, that's not enough. Do you have an arc furnace? Yes, I do. By the way, they changed something recently. Maybe you noticed. Oh, interesting. The button is stuck inside. Interesting. Uh, when Hunger you push here. It will abort the smelting process immediately instead of running the current one to the end or something. So if you do this, it will not keep spitting out the things with the delay that is required for smelting, but instead it will just stop. So that's new, relatively new. Yeah, no, not today. Tomorrow. Use it or lose it. I make enough backups. I mean, I might lose a week or two. That's that's the thing. Doop. Sucker, yeah. That's not much, but okay. I mean, it's not like the centrifuge was done or something. I just interrupted it. So what's required now of me? Wrench and two steel sheets. Where will I place those? I feel like making a lower level here. What just transpired?
fuck off. Can't make my peace with any soundtrack today. I don't know what this is. Yeah, maybe that's Will being all over the place. Or maybe not. I mean, maybe I know exactly all the no's in my head. I just can't distill them down to what yes would emerge logically. So I have to use the world to find that to do the thinking for me. Hmm, who knows? Hey Google, turn on the fan. I'm still working on that electrical engineering tutorial. It must be a hundred hours now. That is so completely idiotic, man. A cut here, a cut there, then... Oh, this could better be a freeze frame so we don't have less camera shakes. Well, I certainly learned my lesson for next time. Next time I need to record some proper footage for certain things that I will explain there. Or maybe just record the normal stuff and then realize, okay, I talked about this, I talked about that. Now, now let's stand at this place and record this part uh, for a while and then this will then be, you know... And still I realize that some things are missing, some things I actually need to add some more recordings because, well, it's incomplete. And how can it be complete? I mean, there's so many things to say. Uses, transformers, cables in parallel, heavy and uh, light cables, area power controller, charging speed of the batteries, large battery versus small or standard s station battery, uh, wireless um, power transmission, and th the box thereof. Uh, wireless batteries and the Omni charger for them. There's actually something very cool in that video. Um, I recorded, I think I said that last time already, I recorded a time lapse. Yep, yeah, there it is, the fucking world. A time lapse of wireless batteries charging, but a whole matrix of them, 20 by 20, uh, with one Omni transmitter in the corner. But before that, um, I had I recorded a time lapse of them discharging. Because, I mean, when you spawn wireless batteries or other batteries in uh, creative mode, then they spawn fully charged. But obviously need, they need to be discharged. Wait a minute. Oh, right. And for that I made a special discharger room. Which is... Which uses, which draws 50,000 watts with uh, wall heaters, and uh, automatically uh, vents itself if it gets too hot or too pressurized, and refills itself from a large tank, which I, of course, filled with the magic of creative. Creative is really fun, man. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for beginners because of the spoiler effect. I mean, you need to have some established a mental relationship to the game, so you don't get lost in. Uh, how easy it is to do things in creative. But certainly I want to do at least one, if not multiple, creative playthroughs of Stationeers. I don't know if those will then be uncut, um, unknown. I mean, they would certainly rather be playthroughs like this one, but they could be cut, live cut, you know, where I press pause.
So we will have multiple centrifuges and I will write one code which has a subroutine and I will say use this subroutine, uh, this centrifuge and then we'll do everything regarding the centrifuge and then another. So both of them are cabled up, ready for use in principle. Now I need shoots. Power, okay, not too high. Don Quixote. I don't get why people uh, are not seeing the film Tenet really to be one of the gr one of the greatest movie uh, achievements of all time. I mean, the, the guy is furthering what cinema can do. Uh, certainly, the people who were doing the special effects also learned a few things because they were challenged with something they haven't done before. Um, storytelling. I mean, whenever I watch that film, I, I get I find some new logic in my head. This guy, this uh, uh, this film furthers your ability to think because you're trying to make sense of it and the complexity, the hypothetical complexity of the logic conundrum presented to you is infinite. Therefore, if you keep digging into it, um, I'm not saying the guy presented an infinite puzzle that he solved and he gave it to us uh, or some no, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, basically, I mean, the ultimate thing doesn't make sense. If you think through it uh, to the extreme, you will realize hmm, it's not logical, it can't work or whatever. But if you disregard that and try to roll with the, bunch, with the punches, then you will find more and more logic in your head explaining certain themes, uh, scenes or why people are doing this or what needs to be done. It's super complex. It's unbelievable. Great fucking film. Tenet. And then, well, I mean, for those who haven't seen it yet, I'm not going to spoil what the title means. <laughs> it's a brilliant film. Christopher Nolan is one of the greatest uh, filmmakers of all time. True. Of course the film is flawed a bit, the dialogue and speed is a bit too fast and too, uh, um, type, in part not very easy to understand. And so forth, I mean, seriously, are you looking for perfection or are you looking for something that is so good that you would say this is one of the best films of all time? I think that is sufficient, isn't it? Oh. Power critical. Yep, I'm aware. Ah, so shoots have been made, I would assume. Now we need to tank down there and this thing. Oops. And um I was thinking about making a video uh, that I would call a uh, scrubber fetishism where I would uh, show all the things you can do with the scrubber. Some guy, for example, showed me, hey, you can use that thing to just evacuate your airlock on a planet where, um, I mean, when you don't have an active vent yet or some something, to have an early breathing box. Because if you don't put any filter in there, then it will just suck up everything. So that can be abused this way. Never done it like this. That's what she said. Um, so, this goes here. Right mouse button, yes. No more double clicking. Uh, is this the right move? It's not. This is actually not what I want to do. What is it that I want to do? I want to dismantle the tank because it's in the wrong place. 
really have to get used to this right mouse button thing. It's absolutely helpful. Why wait, did I make a liquid drain for that? As a reminder? It's just retarded. What I need is a valve. God damn it. of shoots so I can't even use window at once I need tons more iron man uh, valve condensation valve oh man I made a tank that is for for liquids, uh, for, for gases. I mean, it's not bad. I can just, like, get another valve and use a liquid pipe as a bridge. That would work. works rather well. Okay, we don't have too much power left. Uh, yeah. For that I need iron, which funny enough I, again, do not have. Waste time critical. Ah, fuck. Yeah, lots of battery charging going on. In that uh, electrical engineering video, I also have a scene where I'm charging one large battery, a station battery, with another large station battery. So what happens, of course, is that immediately the cable blows, but also immediately the second battery is charged completely in one go. That's ridiculous, man. So whenever you need to move one of your station batteries, you know what to do. Build a new one, connect with a cable, kaboom, dismantle the old one and replace that one cable. <laughs> I wonder how unrealistic that is. I mean, high voltage can take some leaps and bounds, right? Though it doesn't have vo Okay, this game doesn't have voltage at all. It has only has current or energy or whatever. Maybe I should first get the sorter, logic sorter. Twenty six iron already. I need iron. Don't mind if I do. Um. Yeah, I need another valve for that. I need. I oh, I do have iron on me. How did this happen? I forgot the liquid pipe, shit.
Ah, uh, that's cool. Yeah, I said uh, a while ago um, that uh, one of the things that Station Years is lacking is mechanical stuff. I mean, we have all the machines that have the little lamps and such that do something, but we have nothing really moving around. And now we will get um, the... Um, what's his face? All the arms, the Larrys. So there will be stuff, that your base will be alive. Even when you play alone, you will see these things moving, uh, things moving, something transporting things from A to B, cargo Larry. I wonder what these are good for. The Atmos Larry, what the fuck is that guy good for? Does it go to a place, suck a bit, then goes to the other place and breathes out again? So that you don't have to lay pipes, but instead you have to, to lay rails? That's probably not it. What is that good for? Curiosity. <laughs> Hmm, was that feasible? Hmm. Bit tight. It's not necessary to make it this tight. Alrighty. Um, so that is for condensation. And hypothetically, if I don't mistreat this, I would never get CO2, but I would only ever get pollutant. The only thing that would become liquid up there. And I think it's even time to do that again, so we can test this right away. Temperature, 34 degrees. Yep, yep, yep. Aha, so we have some pollutant that is indeed becoming liquid. Ah, liquid's volume. No more liquid, so guess where that went? <laughs> yeah, well, the way I wanted to automate this, and this is still just a preliminary first room, I hope, um, would just be to pipe that back up here and here would be another active vent, and then I connect the chip to this, and then the usual thing, you know. Whenever it needs some cooling, pr create some pressure in that pipe. And when it's cool enough, remove the pressure. I meanwhile, um, keep pumping in, or something. Uh, thriving, they're still thriving. M moderately well. Huh. I'm gonna lighten the mood for you, little plant, very soon. If I let this nose dive until we have negative degrees, actually, I think it's already too late. Because pumping this out means that the temperature in there will nose dive faster and faster. The less gas is in there, that which means the less energy is in there, since the f rate of energy loss by radiation, okay, it's also decreasing. Hmm. Uh, and once we reach minus 10 degrees, uh, the CO2 will also end up in that tank out there. See? I think we're gonna get there. Oh, the pressure is too low. Ah, of course, of course. 22 degrees. I want to see what happens. So the tank contains exactly nothing. 
The pipe down here contains exactly nothing. The liquid pipe here contains exactly nothing. And that pipe here also contains exactly nothing. Question. Where did the pollutant go? I mean, um... Uh, about two or three months ago, for the first time, I think I observed that gas was vanishing from the world. Um, I mean, I observed that earlier too, but there was very, 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 very little gas. Uh, could it be that they shifted the uh, decimal point of that effect a bit recently? And the, whatever I got in here was so little that it was just killed? I mean, it seems, it seems wrong, man. I am mildly pissed. <laughs> Filter low. I guess this playthrough will feel a bit like I felt today, like a bit uh, all over the place, no drive, the music isn't good, few upvotes, few watches, lots of abortions, and uh, so forth. Aborted view viewing. I guess, but okay, that's the way it is. I mean, you have already seen in regards to my Deus Ex uh, remake playthrough, uh, playthrough. Yeah, it is kind of a playthrough. A uh, thing that um, this channel's goal is not to rank as rank up uh, to rack up as many potential subscribers as possible, at the maximum throughput, the maximum retention, and all of that. But I just want to do my thing, you know. I mean, uh, plus some design and some editing, of course. I mean, I've seen how great that feels actually to have a video that comes out then with a really nice flow. I mean, the one that I met about uh, um, Primex, uh, which is a, maybe is this a term that exists or not, whatever, I thought, hmm, let's just make it up. <laughs> um, that uh, that has a very good flow to it. The beginning with a logo effect and then when the when the drums, when the snares come, just when after the fade out and so forth and so on, it all fits very well. That's that's nice flow. I like that. I want to... I mean, the electrical engineering video also has a bit of that, but not on that level. I mean, it's over 90 minutes, what do you expect? Uh, what did I want to do? Um, so we have some shoots over there. We need uh, the logic sorter. Iron, haha. <laughs> Ah, oh, one, one sorter only, please, uh, Vasily. And I need the logic sorter. goes in and then it shall spit out either in this or that direction. That looks so wicked. Wonder if I should move it a bit. Yeah, I need to. It's emotionally necessary. Really it's a bit funny that people don't realize that emotion and will is the same thing. It's the one and the same thing. It's the same thing. Um... Uh, 
90 Kameraden. Power and... Oh, is that also the logic port? Data and power. Okay, so... Oh, is that necessary? Does this thing not have a separate connection? I believe not. That's a bit of a problem. Where do I get the power? Or do I want to put the logic on the same... Well, obviously I want... Okay, what am I saying? Um, well, then we need... Um, I wanted to put this whole thing in a room, didn't I? Well, it's not yet time for that. Okay, either I leave this whole thing open, or I put this whole thing in the room at, so at some point in the future. If I leave it open, then uh, right now I would like to make a little housing, like two by two, uh, for, for, for the computer and the logic chip, because it feels cooler to have this little uh, box there where that, where the, where that is programmed. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna put it here. Yep, let's do that. Let's do that. Didn't I click on... Ah, stupid me. 407. 130 degrees Celsius. What's the temperature in Monsieur Tank, who has been exposed to the open space for this whole time? Still relatively warm. Same temperature, basically. Well, don't mind if I do then. Filters are good. And here we're getting some O2, some N2O, and tons of pollutant. Lots of pollutant, really. Wait a minute. Do I want to keep the pollutant around? Because that's entirely an option. I guess I wanna. So something I wrote in a comment today on YouTube, um, there was a Brazilian guy speaking Portuguese and he started a new YouTube channel, said, hey, thanks for the inspiration and so forth. I guess he wasn't inspired by me playing Stationeers, but by this overall channel thing happening and Stationeers. And so he wanted to like not copy it, but also felt inspired to go there and good luck to him, I would say. I made a post linking there, so maybe you can give that guy a visit but um he would have to i mean if you don't speak portuguese it's pretty much a moot point even though there are subtitles um but uh w i wrote in that comment uh some of the following things that i experienced uh on youtube see uh, this is my first channel and um I uh, had no particular agenda. I just wanted. To, I thought, like on on Christmas time, 2023, I thought, you know what? Let's maybe try to record some uh, stationeers just for fun. See what that's like, and with microphone and set it up and experiment. And then Shazam, the first video was born. I uploaded it, and then I uploaded a video almost every day. And the channel grew quickly by about 900 people in these eight months. 900. And uh, now I have. Let's first see where the uh, recycler should go. Now I've seen uh, since I have not posted a few a video some videos in a while because 
Uh, I mean, my, my frequency is much lower. And I have become aware that, maybe not in general, but at least often enough to notice, a video would take off uh, right away and then it would keep going. And then after exactly 24 hours, suddenly it would, uh, the this chart, this graph that shows the amount of views ascending and descending, um, there's a certain knee there. Suddenly it's, it's uh, slower, it's happening slower from that moment forth. And I interpret that uh, Google's uh, algorithm, uh, YouTube's algorithm has decided to show the video, but this decision um, fades after 24 hours. Maybe not, that's not generally so because this algorithm is really, 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 really complex. But um, in principle, And um, so, in, in, a, in a way, I have done everything. I have done it right, accidentally, from the beginning. I uploaded a video every day, and maybe that's not necessary for a channel to be successful. But uh, I think it certainly helps because it keeps the channel visible, and the channel being visible means that people are more likely to subscribe. Obviously. Um, but you can't just spam it. You need to have some some content. But luckily, the content I have here, Station here, is one of the most interesting games you can ever play. <laughs> is itself interesting enough that you can just record a video every day, and there there you go. That was not the plan. But I'm just saying. I mean, if you want to do such a thing, be my guest. I mean, Station years, more exposure. Why the fuck not? Um. I mean, why am I saying be my guest? What the fuck, man? Does it get any more pompous, right? Um, still, I and I, I wonder what would I have done had I known this in the beginning? Would I have gone? I mean, I, I would have done maybe what I have done. Period, because that's also what the goal was. But. I mean to just upload these videos, but uh, let's say I would have gone for edited videos in the beginning. I would have known this like a rapid upload trick, if 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 it is a trick, you know, if it really works. Just a hypothesis of mine. Would I have changed course? Would I have said, okay, I want more subscribers, so let's rather more rapidly upload videos instead of editing them nicely? Would I have done this? I don't know. How can you know such a thing, you know? Oh. Yeah, and still I would like to edit my videos more, but not as much as right now. Over a hundred hours for this video that will probably just not be watched or referenced more than others. I mean, uh, it's still about the art, basically about the work, about the outcome, to have this quality there, of course. But ultimately you have to have a balance there, man. In a way you could say my work-life balance or my game-life balance, no, my game-work balance isn't, that's, that doesn't work, man. But I didn't ex expect that video to be that long. I was just talking about some batteries and some fast cuts and so forth and over 90 minutes and I'm not even done with the content. Shit! Hmm. They are not well placed, except if I expand this further. Which I do. It's really good that we can no longer miss double clicks because there's no more double clicking. Just right click. Ah, in case you didn't notice, that right click thing was my idea. <laughs> I mean, it's not like no one would have come up with it, I guess. But, you know. Credit where credit is due. Um. 
Yo, now we need a few windows. And uh, I made some iron so I can start producing the two filters I wanted to make. What did I interrupt? Oh, what the fuck? No! Dildos? No! <laughs> the internet. Hilarious. For this cable network, which should begin not over there. Where is it beginning, by the way? Right at the battery, huh? Not good. I opt to make a, a uh, medium transformer there. Do it? Does it have to be a transformer? Can you also use an APC? Let's use an APC. Ein Copper Solar. I will just leave the lever open as indica indication that the thing is empty. Maybe that's a good practice. If the thing is empty, lever is open. I think I just came up with a good idea. Where's the solder? Did I use all the solder? I can't believe that. Maybe it just rolled away. Constant. Solda, where are you? It can't be that I used up the solda precisely. I mean, what's the likelihood of that? Ah, forbidden solda. Oh, that's an APC. Never mind. And that's a Zola. Okay. Ha 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 Um, I should put that in there. <clears throat> so, um, that is full to the brim. Maybe we should put a stack in between these, but, um,. I don't wanna. Hmm. I think the overflow shoots are bugged. I have often seen that the arrow will eventually go here, but it never goes straight again. My understanding of the overflow shoot was it goes straight, unless it can't, then it goes to the side. But apparently that's not the way it works. Um, okay, now I want to be able to toss shit in here, which could also then come from there. I only have two shoots left. Dude. Um, that would be... Is that a junction? Yeah, it's a junction. Can I put the junction right here or will that be a problem? Well, it's giving me a yellow arrow and so I interpret that this is fucking possible. 
Uh, so shouldn't give me a yellow arrow, huh? Alrighty, um... Need more iron, ironically, and uh, do we have some down here, maybe? Lead? I would be hunting for lead so hard, right? And he's, he is just lying on the floor. Health low. Damn it, I didn't bring any heavy cables. I mean, not that I need them right now, but in principle. Well, now I have heavy cables. What a glorious move. Ah! Uh, <clears throat> fuck! I managed to fail this too. Crap. Hundred watts being gobble gobbled up, and I have no influx of energy. And I'm using, and I'm using, and I've used up all my coal. Also, I mean, that's pretty dangerous. Still have a little bit there. I, I thought I had. Don't I? I do a little bit. That's really not much. I need to go mining again. Or oh, no, I should see what the deep miner has spat out so far. Yep. Well, this whole plan with the coal might work. Oh, for one. Yeah, I wanted some walls here. Num 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 num. Little glass room. Because I'm... Really not in the mood to design. Often enough, I am not in that mood. I hope this changes once I have done a few creative playthroughs, which I have so far not done at all. See, I'm looking forward to that. That's a new thing, a new dimension. Are we done? Right, I wanted to have another thing here to store the pollutant. For that, I wanted to get some iron frames, actually. One, two, three.
anyone know where I'm, does anyone know where my mining drill is? Yeah, that box didn't look right, that hitbox. Okay, the output would go into another filtration unit. The filtration unit would try to get all the things that I don't want to lose. And I would say those are in 2 and pollutant. Yep. Those would go into another tank. Maybe. Filtration unit. That's what... Wanted to go inside again and make one. <laughs> Uh, Atmos. Iron and... Right, that was already in there. Iron and copper. Oh, that's enough. Cables. One of the greatest skills to acquire with this game to not accidentally build an air conditioner, I think. Once you have mastered that, you're special. <laughs> oh, I need some iron. I don't have enough iron here, right? No! Solder. Really? Why the fuck does this shit not stack? God damn it, rocket works. Do you not test your things? When I say things, I have to hold myself back. It also starts with an S. Seriously, Rocketworks is doing great things with little resources. But sometimes can you really only shake my head. Why are some things still so fucked up? Why is this not being polished, solved, refined? Ugh, their focus is so weird. Electrum. Then a computer board. Uh. I see editor motherboard. Copper and iron. Okay. And those gases I should basically also catch. Uh-huh. 
Uh, look at this, now it's only going straight, or am I... Well, maybe I shouldn't complain yet. This, uh, if there's one here, and some here, and none there, then it's time to complain. Anyway... Ah, uh, where did I want to go? Ah, yeah, yeah, I wanted to get see if we get some more iron, maybe. 13 grams, not too much, but I need some filters, so I need some iron. This will become a flow later that I won't care about. We'll just try to get rid of all the extra extra stuff somehow. <laughs> uh, supposedly you can just burn um, that if by throwing it into a burning room, you know? Have a room where some fuel gas burning, you toss your iron and such in there, we'll just get damaged further and further and then it's gone. I heard though that this only applies to the topmost item of the stack and then it's at 0% and then it's gone. And then you have not 50, 50 left but 49. So that might take a long time but as long as I can make a, f a factory that whose purpose is to undo things, that's fine by me. Yo, let's make some, some stuff to breathe. Didn't I have some extra bottles somewhere here? I did, didn't I? And if I see correctly, it's already colder than I would like it. Yep, know your Kelvins. But that's the solution. Actually, it wasn't the best way to make to solve that. I forgot to evacuate. Yeah, there's not some nitrogen in there. Shite. Anyway. Oh, still a negative. Uh. Oh wait, that's not a wise idea. Heats up, needs more volume, explodes. Classic. Hmm, what to do now? Um, this maybe? It's not complaining. Hmm, am I not damaging my lungs after all? Yeah, I wanted to do multiple things at the same time. I need uh, the pollutant filter and I need the nitrous oxide filter. And afterwards I need the iron that is left. Can make the computer great. Now some iron walls, please. Uh, some steel walls.
Attack critical. Really? I made too few? I'm stupid. One, two, three, four. Oh, five, six, right. Of course. Of course that had to happen also. Aha, uh -huh, it is working on something. Ah, uh, okay, so Mr. Overflow is doing what it's supposed to. This is also working nice. More walls. Then I will need plastic sheets. I have enough plastic sheets and glass sheets. And how are we looking here? Okay, this is almost at not so warm anymore oxygen degrees low. and low pressure. and I have oxygen no more oxygen critical. and now I cannot walk straight for whatever sudden reason it did maybe you observe critical. that um, and I'm wondering what the fuck that was I don't know what that was how cold is this uh, it's a bit cold I wonder how, how much too cold it is um, so let's investigate. So how warm is this guy? Huh? 20 megapascals, 3 degrees. Don't mind if I do. Okay, with that out of the way. It's already one hour before midnight. Uh, how much pollutant is in there? I mean, nitrogen. Almost a percent, man. Uh, anyway. Ah, uh, no! Fuck! Uh, shit. Ah. Uh. It'll have to do. Oh, right. Maybe I should stop this production. And while I'm at it, maybe I should stop this pump here also. Oh, there's a nitrogen filter. How nice of it to be. Critical. There. I find it pretty sad that a filter, uh, how much it is used up, is not depending on the amount of gas that goes through it. Um, I mean, like if you pump um, a certain amount of gas through a set of filters, and there's lots of oxygen in there and very little nitrogen, and you have an oxygen filter and a nitrogen filter. My understanding is that both these filters will be used up at the exact same speed. And that's stupid. It feels wrong, even though maybe there's a reason for it to be like this. I dislike it from a game balancing perspective and from an associative perspective. You look at it and you just think it's wrong. Even maybe it's right, maybe it's right even. But I think it's wrong. Stupid reminder program. Stop getting my nerves. Waste tank caution. Next problem. So I come here and then there is the entrance? No, on the right. Let's make it cozy. The sound work of Stationers is really, is really world class. I mean, that's just stellar. All the sounds that they have in there, golden. And also the sound effects 
or what the polish does, depending what the uh, what the effects do, depending on how big the room is and, and all of that. Really, really, really good. Really well done. Hunger critical. Boop. Bonk. Don't I have the computer with me? Apparently not. God damn it. So as I was saying, there would be a pipe here and here we, I would have a tank, probably over yonder, so we need to make the tank still. Um, this one's empty, for the tank we need steel and I believe silicon. Tank! The tank corporate, no that was Chank with a, with a killer machine, killing machine, murder machine, what was the name of the uh, film again? Oh. Still 25 degrees, not a surprise, the sun isn't shining in, it's night. Seeds, 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 okay, we have new stuff already. As long as the base doesn't blow up, then, um... We certainly have enough food, the problem is solved. Whatever. Oh, even that, huh. You know what? I have an idea. There. I should save. Hmm, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Where I use insulated pipes? 
I mean, to what end? That doesn't make sense. Huh. Hmm. Why did I use insulated ones here, anyway? Well, the advantage of insul insulated pipes, of course, is then you need steel for them, and I have tons of steel, I don't have any iron, so... Insulated it is! Oh, right, I need to... Oh, that wasn't well planned. This is normal to me, for me. Really? Okay, some cables, please. Good. Pollutant and to all. Nice. And this one should get colder now. Though what's going in there is only little in comparison. Because this guy is rather cold already. Okay, what's next? Yeah, what's next? Uh, find the computer, that's what's next. Jetpack low. What, jetpack low already? I couldn't have thrown it in a stupider direction. Oh, look at that. That's funny. I'm nowhere. Yeah, a few more seconds and then we should see suddenly an entire moon spawn here. There it is. But... I mean, who cares about the moon? Where's my computer? <laughs> How did I throw that thing? Jetpack critical. This is hilarious. I threw the computer and I can't. Oh, there it is. Less hilarious now. Why couldn't it stay hilarious? That was fun. Now it's not. Oh, 
Or should I use the classic one? In case you haven't noticed yet, we have a new type of computer. It's the only uh, optics thing, but you know, why not? It's created in the same way. It works in the same way, it just looks different. And stupidly, it also needs electricity. Sure, that's what I intended. Another bug. The progress bar was valid for that one action that I performed and not for any other action that I might have started afterwards. Thank you. What kind of door will I use here? I'm not sure yet, so better be prepared. Oh, the sun's coming back. Ah, oh, shit. So, solar panels, what say? What the fucking shit? Why are the solar panels not pointing in the right direction? Uh, I thought I solved this. Oh, hmm. I'm doing it wrong. Hey everybody, watch my tutorials! And can't get some stupid solar panels off the ground, man. Hilarious. So let's first see if they react to something I do in any way. They do, okay. Do they move? It would be easier to see if the sun would be so fucking slow. Aha, they move in the wrong direction. They move towards the sun, they should be moving away. I mean, since they're already offset. Um, so this subtraction kind of thing, that doesn't make sense. I guess. Okay, what if I subtract that from 180 though? I mean, I just inverted the direction by doing this. But is, our, is the overall orientation correct or not? Hmm. Okay, this does not seem to be right. I mean, that's all fine and dandy, but uh, later in the day I had to adjust it with the soup. I don't get it, man. Fuck. I should have baked that first. Driving, okay, well, all fine. Battery. into the light. Why? It's too far away. Okay, nothing in there. Left. So this turns off, this turns off, and this one should be evacuated technically. Yes. It is. What do we have? Um, 
341 moles of pollutant. That's not nothing, man. However, here we have 5,000 moles of CO2. In case we need a greenhouse, huh? Uh, okay, next step. That computer stuff over there needs cables. So once I have my resource problem solved, I will have, well, quasi unlocked creative mode, and then I can be a bit more creative, I hope. Then we can use the logic sorter, then I need shoots, for that I need iron, but that is already being obtained by the deep miner. Alright, so I don't have any more jetpack. Hmm, can we solve this? Huh. I mean, I have tons of CO2, which I can turn via plants into oxygen. I could also just use the CO2 for jetpack. Uh, I don't know. Just give me some jetpack already. expect this to be so tricky. Okay, so that has power. I see housing. Um, now we need to get this guy to splice off all the coal. Which is only meaningful, of course, if it doesn't fall down into the same fucking hole afterwards. In other words, uh, to not waste too much electricity on the computing equipment, I should first get enough shoots so that the coal is meaningfully spliced. So we're talking about 300 iron easily that's needed for this. I don't suppose I have that here, yes? 29... 30... Oh, that's not nothing. Give me that. Maybe we could already program the centrifuge stuff? Hmm... I like the named approach, so... What just happened? <laughs> okay, uh... Deal with Fuge. Okay, I like the track, but I guess it's a bit too intense, isn't it? I mean, I might as well just switch to this, right? Ah, you know what, let's stay there for a moment.
Oh my god, three shoots. Dick is too short. Yeah, these I forgot too. I need more iron. Okay, I need to go mining. does is finally implementing the ability to change the day duration and then also goes and sets the day duration default to one hour instead of 20 minutes because 20 minutes is a joke it's a fucking joke even the 200 minutes i have here right now seem almost a bit fast still so i think one hour is a good middle ground for, as a default value should definitely put that in there it's a, literally a game changer. Gives the people more parameters to play around with. And not this stupid hasty day and night shit, man. Seriously, what the fuck? projects eat so much hard disk space like currently i have um, like 100 gigabytes uh, left uh, on my c drive and um, when i when i'm through with this project i would have 400 uh, roughly 400 gigabytes Thank you. 
Okay, let's go home. Enough for now. What's happening? Uh... Why is this gas streaming? <gasps> Fuck me! Something fucking exploded. Oh man, this is uh, something I wouldn't want to put up with ever. No clue what exactly happened. Too bad on the moon you can't really hear it. Can't be long ago. Uh, iron wall. Great. I don't have the necessary materials. Uh, iron cheese. Do I not have fucking iron cheese right now? Ah, oh, come on. This is a joke. Hunger caution. Fucking airlock is broken too. Oh, that's that's expensive. If I had any clue what the fuck happened, but I don't have time to investigate right now. I mean, normally I would reload the game. This is like the second time in 1500 hours that I have an explosion that doesn't prompt me to just reload, you know? Why did this happen, man? What what happened? I think I have some extra doors here, right? Yep, I do. Glass doors, or what should it be? I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, plastic? Ah, oh, shit. Do I not have any plastic here? Fuck. Why the fuck did this happen? Hydration critical. Yeah, that's well, that's going to be a problem. Because there was the one place where I got something to drink. Um, so I will need another APC, which I can currently not make. Wow, there must be a, must have been a big explosion here, but why did it explode? What the fuck exploded there? Or was it a canister? Was it the smart canister maybe that exploded? Is it... That, is, that's, that must have been it. That must have been the smart canister. Man. I was so sure there was enough volume left. I mean, we had one full megapascal un until 20. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Not sure how to proceed.
Okay, man. Yeah, no. I thought. And then I said. But it didn't mingle. You can't. <laughs> Fucking kidding me! Uh, why do I have power here? Why is this door powered? What the fuck is powering this door? Are you telling me this guy is still working? Even though it's exploded to death? This is ridiculous, man. For multiple reasons. So what about the plants? Huh. It's only had enough cables. Now where's that electricity coming from? There's no source for power here, man. But this door has power. It is from, it's coming from the APC? This APC is still delivering power, man. It's destroyed, but it's still delivering power. Well, I took a screenshot. Pretty ridiculous, man. Uh, which means that we're soon out of power. 20 kilopascals. And we'll never fruit. Temperature zero degrees. Bit cold, yeah. Good thing we have a radiator here. <laughs> One's left. Um, num, num, num. How do I proceed? I need some... Um, Okay, we need two active vents. That would have al almost been the next catastrophe. Do I have some glass here, maybe? Oh, no, it's indoors, isn't it? No, it's not. Because I bet there are some more damaged walls here. Yeah, it must have been this stupid gas canister that exploded them. Oh, I don't have any more glass. Except there. <laughs> Ridiculous, hilarious. Uh... Well, I'm about to die, I guess, because I need to uh, need to drink some stuff. So, how do we solve this in absence of stuff to drink? I have the passive liquid drain, which is still there. We need some liquid pipes. The liquid drain has a passive liquid inlet, which I can use to just melt some... But I need a water bottle filler also. Hmm. Fun, huh? Iron, like a Zion in Lion. Do I still have some bottles? I'm not sure. Even I guess so. I, I th think we might actually have some bottles still in the in the in the food packs. There's no reason to panic yet. Anyway, let's make another crusher. And then we need cables.
So, uh, yeah, I need um, area power controller, even though the current one seems to be very good. Um, and I need um, active vents. Iron. Two active vents, please. Copper. No. Oh, I don't have any copper. Hmm. That could be a problem. How many do I need? How much, I mean? Ah, just enough, just enough. Good. Oh, I need a console too. Will you stay here? Um, a console and a gas sensor. Oh. And an advanced airlock chip. So many things. And a disc, of course. Gold and copper. Hmm. some gold somewhere maybe Health low. Uh huh And then we need the uh, advanced airlock circuit board for which we need copper once again which once again we have And the disc. For which we once again need copper. Which we have. So do I have pipes? I need gas pipes also to make this happen. And now we should be able to make the, uh, the airlock. were not needed. Uh, where are they? Are? Forgot the gas sensor. Shit. And we will of course need glass also. Mm hmm. Battery for the APC would also not be bad. I don't have one right now. It's not really necessary, but you know, I should just leave this one up. I mean, it seems to be working. Maybe it just keeps working. I want to find out when it dies. So we'll just place this dude down here in case we need it. Powered. Now we need glass. What the plant's doing, 
they're about to die. We need to heat up the room. Oh, 42 degrees, that's too much degrees, but uh, not a problem because we have some more uh, pressure that we can put into the room, which also cools it down. Okay, airlock works, 23 degrees, pressure 54, and uh, oh, what's going on? It's not growing, we never fruit, potatoes don't have correct atmosphere gas. What gas are we talking about? What gas do we have here? 90 percent, oh, there's no CO2 here. Okay, um, that's a problem. Three percent falling, of course. Uh, if I get some more CO2 here, that should be fine, theoretically. What a fucking stunt, man. Um, how do I get some CO2? Help critical. Really? Oh shit, man. Oh shit, uh, right, I need to eat and drink also. Okay, that's a problem. Oh, I see that uh, this is... Yeah, that's not really a problem because uh, I can just stop the cycling. That's good enough. Do we have something to drink here? Is it... Oh, yeah, we do. towards fruiting but one of them died but one of them was too late hmm so it was a pretty close one good thing we still had seeds dude what the fuck yeah yeah i know but in the opposite direction uh so that goes here Was that the last glass? The one glass sheet that I found here? Oh no, there it is. Oh, I need glass sheets. How damage is this? 11%, uh -huh. 35. Oh. Okay, I have some kind of blueprint here where I want the ice crusher to be. Let's see. Why is the cable there? I don't get it. Probably like this, huh? So, what's the atmosphere doing? 1% CO2, that's really not so much. Man, I lost all the precious gas that I kept in here. Remember all the CO2 that I decidedly released in this uh, in this room? All gone. So it's good to have tanks and it's good to have them spread out and it's good not to leave bombs lying around, I guess.
I fear this is one of those songs that I have to mute again, huh? As used to won't allow it. Ah, too bad. Progress bar, you think, filling up? I mean, it, it was lower before, wasn't it? Hmm. Too bad I can't use the mouse pointer now. I'm trying to observe it. Hmm. Can't tell that it's growing. I don't think so. But it is more now than it was before. Hmm. Ooh, man, that was fun. <laughs> I would like to right click right here in the world on this thing and pick it up into my inventory. What's happening? Oh, I think we're losing atmosphere, man. This whole fucking time. I'm pretty sure we're losing atmosphere. Look up there. I mean, where's that coming from? From the broken pipe up there, I guess. Case in point, maybe I can just repair it from here. Seems to be over. Oh, what a show. Hey, what's the temperature of my little fridge thingy here? Still minus 102. Yeah, I complained about it already in the bug forum, but no reaction. I mean, you can't expect that every message will actually be read, you know? Well, and I still have power. Maybe I now have infinite power here. Maybe I just unlocked the secret to immortality. <laughs> I'm an APC. When I, go, when I die, I go to heaven. <laughs> sure. Sure, APC. Believe that if you so wish. But don't try to actually go there if you catch my drift. Maybe you're mistaken. About where you will end up. Uh -huh. Let's see how far we get with uh, with the shoots. I mean, that is just a nice. Okay, this episode over almost maybe not very prickly, but uh, that was that was a new one, wasn't it? Canisters, filled canisters lying around, they are really so dangerous. I mean, if you do it wrong, yeah, I get it, but I mean, you, at least you can mishandle them, that's my point. You can mishandle them so hard that they are bombs. You can't mishandle a sheet of glass so hard that it's a bomb, it's just in your fucking locker, not a problem.
Unbelievable, we have enough shoots? Just enough. That's ridiculous. Okay, so hypothetically we could now fill the guy, which means I have to do some programming. Are there some cables broken here? Because I get the feeling that my batteries are not being filled, or is it just because I'm consuming so much electricity? That might be the reason, huh? Not sure which power network I should connect here. Hey, what am I saying? This is uh that is logic and power of the station and it goes right here. So that completely makes sense. I can just connect this here. Problem solved. Come on. So the silos, I think they use just 10 watts. One watt, oh, that's appreciable. Okay, let's leave the dude on. Now we need to do some programming with the logic sort. Uh, oh, right, uh, I don't have enough shots. <laughs> Not yet. Or do I? I have exactly the right amount of shoots. This is funny. <sighs> so I will just take the logic sorter. And there's only one of these, right? Kit sorter has sorter and logic sorter, but not mirrored. All right. So the structure sorter. No, the, uh, the, the, the logic sorter. Structure logic sorter. Uh, I mean, this computer isn't bad. Certainly, uh, certainly an appreciable style. Good that this that is in there. Um, okay, then define hash. Um, I don't know why I lowercase these. It should be uppercase. So, let's see, what was it again? The logic sorter. Filter prefer equals, not equals. Okay, we want, we want to filter something out into the slot, uh, the select slot, when the hash of the thing that we want to filter is equal to the value that we put here. Um, so, we need to move the value this irrelevant. So we start with an empty register, which we effectively do by writing this value in there, which clears all the bits that this value doesn't use. So we are selecting, we are solving both of these things with one move. The prefab hash of what, what we want is call or so we want to say move r zero hash. Um, and then we want to logic Hydration critical. LSL or oh, what, what was it again? Let's see. Shift SLL, yeah. SLL, R0, R0, how many times? I don't know, eight, I think. Um, if I move it by eight, eight times to the left, then this means that these bits are now free and these are now in this place and this is of course right. Okay, so we're done already. Now I have to uh, move um, one in there. Ah, oh, yeah. So I just OR, target is R0, source is R0 and also hash, no, uh, this. 
Now we have the value. Now I need to clear. Uh, I need access to the logic sorter. So I need to find the logic sorter identity. Let's do that up here so we have some kind of headline of what I'm doing. Uh, load batch into R1 from... Not from hash, but from here. From the sorter. What I want is the uh, reference ID, the objective number. And that I don't so much care about. I hope I only have one sorter here. Now I have that absolute address. Now I can see it on DR1. Now the stack is empty. And now I can... Uh, how do you write that again? I don't remember. How do you write directly into that memory? Was it just SD? Stores register value of logic time on device by direct ID reference. No, that's not it. I need to write to the stack. Okay, stack, I cannot... F I can. Oh. Put D. I think it was put D. Put directly. Then where do I want to put directly? Then in which location and what value? So, put directly into this device. At address 0, the value that we have come up with, and that should now be it. This should program the thing to sort coal. We have to find out whether that is so. Uh, so I will just remove some things. And of course it needs to be piped up. Uh, cabled up. Okay, someone's complaining over yonder. Device not found at line 19. CRD R1. Um, okay, but the device should not be there, should it be? Yes, it should be. Uh, and I think the device should have found out. Uh, maybe it just halted. There was a problem, so it just halted execution. Okay, um, let's see where the coal comes out and where the other stuff comes out. That's the question. I think okay that was that wasn't a good test. Okay, and the coal? Yeah, perfect. Okay, great. That's the way. Oh, I have something to drink here. So now I could open this thing, I would toss everything out, and the coal would go, coal, 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 do we have coal here, cobalt, hydrocarbon, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the coal would come out the other end, so and would end up in the silo. Man, it's already past midnight, I have to go to bed, man. Ah, that's station years, you know, you play it, you play it, and time passes and you don't give a fuck, and that's the way. So currently it's zero. There's zero in there. That I don't get. Oh, right, right. I, I hadn't connected the shoots when I did the coal test. Yeah, spitting out shit. And soon... We should see the numbers rise. And what's coming in there? 29 coal and... Oh, right, that was 29 coal, okay. So, have the plants died again? I mean, you never know. <laughs> Airlock is still functional, however the fuck it's doing that. Ah, okay. The plants are fine. Okay, this one's empty. 
I even have a full year. That's ridiculous. I saved the plants except for one. Just wonder where the smart canister is. I mean, shouldn't there be some remains? Okay, uh, but it's time to uh, for me to rest my weary head. What's happening? Did it just... What? I don't know what just happened. The, the computer froze. I want to say something along the lines of goodbye. And you know what? I'm gonna do that. Goodbye.